Hey everyone, this is Operation Reunion and we are coming at you with another video. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about a new interview that Katase had with IGN. So more information came out concerning the casting change, but it leads to more questions and confusion as the excuse is actually contradictory to what we see happening with the casting. Katase said that the voice actors had to change because the characters were a younger version of themselves than they were in Advent Children. Therefore, he could not use the actors from a 15-year-old movie simply because those characters in Advent Children were two years older than they would be in Final Fantasy VII. Now, we already knew the Japanese cast returned from Advent Children, but then with a little bit of research, we found out that the German and the French languages both used Advent Children actors in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So it really doesn't make sense how Katase said that they are too old to voice the characters, yet we see in other dubs they are using Advent Children actors. So what's going on with the remake and the English cast? So it seems according to Katase, English is the only language that prohibits from using Advent Children actors because of this age range. It's strange that out of 18 professional actors and voice actors from the old cast, not one of them could be used. You should be able to see our confusion with the cast change excuse, because Japan, Germany, and France are all using their Advent Children actors. But Katase just said that he cannot use Advent Children actors. So what's really going on here? And since he did mention that Final Fantasy VII is two years before Advent Children, we do need to talk about Crisis Core, which is actually five years before Final Fantasy VII and seven years before Advent Children. And the old cast was used in Crisis Core. So it's very strange for him to say that the voice actors cannot voice characters that are two years younger, but they can voice characters that are seven years younger. It just doesn't make any sense and it's very contradictory. So let's talk about Zack Fair for a minute. He actually dies at the end of Crisis Core, so why would he need a younger voice after being dead? The only reasoning for this I could think of is that his vocal cords deteriorated and his voice got higher. Let's talk about Sephiroth for a second. Sephiroth also dies at the end of Crisis Core, so it really doesn't make sense that he also needs to have a younger voice. And this is a spoiler alert, so skip ahead if you don't want to hear it. There is something very particular about Sephiroth who is in Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's actually hinted at that this Sephiroth is from Advent Children. He is from the future, so it really doesn't make any sense why George Newbern cannot voice Sephiroth who is from Advent Children. I guess time travel also deteriorates vocal cords now. So after doing all this research, we had to go online to see what other people were saying about it. Clearly there has to be a reason that this is such a contradictory statement. The only thing that we found were people just saying that the old actors were terrible and this is Katase's way of being nice about it. Now it would make more sense, but we do have to understand that they kept voice actors for 17 years and in 13 projects. If the actors were really that bad, Square Enix is still a business. They would not be constantly rehiring these actors back if they were a waste of money and they were terrible. And I can also guarantee you we wouldn't find anyone online wanting these voice actors back. And I can certainly guarantee you there wouldn't be a fan group campaigning for a DLC to be added to Final Fantasy VII Remake with these very voice actors if they were that bad. And I find it very difficult to understand that if these actors were bad, they wouldn't have waited until 2019 to fire them. They would have fired them a long time ago and then stopped using them. But they actually recently used them in World of Final Fantasy, Mobius, and Dissidia NT. So if they were truly bad, they wouldn't still be reprising their roles. And there's a lot of voice actors out there. If at any time the voice actors weren't working out, they would have easily changed them out. Something that we actually saw with Mina Servari. And we can only speculate that she was changed out due to critical fan reception. 
And again, out of the 18 professional actors and the top tiered voice actors, not even one was able to show up in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So it definitely shows that there is an all or nothing deal that was in place. And of course, they're trying to cover it up with this excuse that doesn't really make any sense. If you look at our last video, we actually talk about Warner Brothers and their interest in putting their actors in Final Fantasy VII Remake for advertisement space. Because when you look at the cast list of the new actors, they all come from Warner Brothers and Viacom CBS. And Viacom CBS and Warner Brothers both own the company, The CW. At the end of the article, Kitase says something that caught my attention. He said, expressing our utmost respect to the Advent Children cast. I really don't think it's respect, especially after what they did, especially with how they treated them. They told them months before that they were fired from the project and they didn't even get a reason why. Not only that, for five years since the first trailer of Final Fantasy VII Remake, they were told they were going to be on this project. And they continued to voice the characters from 2015 to 2018 in the other projects. So either Katasi doesn't really know what's going on and how they were fired and how things were done, or he has a different definition of what respect is especially when the voice actors are really saddened by not voicing their favorite characters in this new game that they were told they would voice in. And also in this interview, Katase found himself saying a marketing catchphrase that was created by the marketing team to try to cover up and justify the 18 people that were fired last minute without a reason. The original didn't have voice acting. Now this phrase is all over the internet and always coming and attaching itself onto our comments, the original didn't have voice acting, but the characters did for 17 years. And we can even see that they are reprising their roles in other dubbed languages. So it really doesn't matter that the original didn't have voice acting because we see the same actors portraying the same characters in other dubs. So in summary of this video, Ketase said he was unable to use the Advent Children voice actors because Advent Children is two years before Final Fantasy VII. But we do need to recognize and realize that Crisis Core is actually seven years before Advent Children, but that was okay to use the old actors. Also, Japan, France, and Germany are all using Advent Children actors, so only the English actors are not allowed to be in the remake. It is evident that this is an all or nothing deal between Warner Brothers, Viacom CBS, Sony, and Square Enix. Seeing that not even one of the old cast members could be in Final Fantasy VII Remake shows the corporate politics that were going on behind the scenes and why there were secret auditions and how the old cast members got fired just months before E3.